get to other news uh, in yet another statement here that has come in from Pakistan uh, raising concerns as far as India's uh, uh, broadening maritime presence they're going saying that it is in fact uh, posing a threat to the region it's raised uh, that issue yet again uh, of course Sir Creek is uh, found a mention there yet again in fact, Pakistan's top diplomat, Sirtaj Ji, is alleging here that India's evolving uh, maritime security strategy and uh, undemarked border of Sir Creek uh, is posing a threat to the security of the Indian Ocean. Uh, this is the exact quote here that is coming from Sirtaj Ji. He says, and I quote him now, the UN demarcated borders in Sir Creek have the potential to cast a shadow on maritime security. India's evolving expansion expansionist maritime security strategy is a cause for concern for peace in the Indian Ocean unquote. He's further urged regular dialogue between stakeholders here on security and safety of the region offered that Pakistan which is ready and willing to expand contribution for ensuring a peaceful Indian Ocean region. The undemarcated borders in Sir Creek have the potential to cast a shadow on maritime security with 95 percent of Pakistan trade taking place, we see we are heavily dependent on a tension-free Indian Ocean. You see, this nuclearization, which is happening there, or which is this kind of militarization, basically, which is happening in the whole sector in the Indian Ocean, is the responsibility of Pakistan and China. ये दोनों उसके अंदर अपनी प्रेजेंस बढ़ा रहे हैं। अगर वो उस गतिविधियों को बंद कर दें, तो मैं समझता हूँ कि ये समस्या का समाधान हो सकता है। नहीं तो ये तो बढ़ती जाएगी। इंडिया को ने जो कुछ भी किया, ये करना पड़ रहा है। वो बेसिकली अपने डिफेंस के लिए, डिटरेंस के लिए। प्रधानमंत्र तो उसके खिलाफ हम कार्रवाई करेंगे और यहाँ पे कोई ऐसा घटना अभी हमको हिंदुस्तान के अंदर देखने को नहीं मिला कहीं बाहर से अगर कोई फेक करेंसी आता है तो ये सरकार पुराने सरकार जैसे नहीं है हम बहुत ही कार्रवाई जो है ऐसे तरीके से करेंगे जो इसका रिजल्ट भी साथ साथ दिखाई देंगे इसलिए कोई हल्का से सरकार का कदम को नहीं ले सकते हैं all right, let's go across to Ashish Singh joining us live for more on this. Uh, Ashish, uh, Sattaj Aziz waking up the Sir Creek issue yet again. And uh, India, of course, MOS Home Ridge replying to that as well. Uh, they've, of course, petitioned the UN yet again on this issue. Well, this is what Pakistan has always, always been doing. Basically, try to attract the, the international attention on the dispute between India and Pakistan. It not only restricts uh, to uh, Kashmir, but also now they're expanding to uh, Indian Ocean region. We all know that Pakistan and China have nexus, uh, uh, basically. China is worried about the expansion uh, in collaboration with US and Japan uh, of Indian Navy in the Indian Ocean region, the seven pearls uh, theory, basically. Uh, but this is something which is annoying Pakistan. And that's the reason, at the behest of China, Pakistan is now raising a new slogan on Indian Ocean region. Now, this is basically the statement by the Pakistan's uh, government's uh, foreign affairs advisor, Sartaz Aziz, and he was speaking at the uh, International Maritime Conference uh, uh, Outlook for uh, Indian Ocean Region uh, in uh, 2030 and beyond. We know in the last couple of uh, uh, years, India has built a lot of uh, capabilities, maritime and the uh, uh, atmospheric uh, capabilities as well. Uh, the INS Arihan is one of the biggest uh, threats that Pakistan has really uh, been irritated by. In addition to that, just a couple of days ago, India also successfully tested the uh, uh, the atmospheric interceptor missile. That is, uh, these are the two things which uh, rarely four to five countries in the entire world have uh, these characteristics and that develops a lot of uh, deterrence and right. the defense capabilities. This is something what Pakistan is now utilizing, specifically okay. INS Arihant, India's uh, nuclear capable uh, uh, submarine is being basically used by Pakistan as an excuse that the uh, nuclear and the proliferation aspect in the Indian Ocean region. But, but Ashish, of course, you're explaining uh, the reason why Pakistan would want to raise this on why they're feeling threatened here. Uh, but internationally speaking, uh, how many countries really looking at Pakistan's argument seriously here? See, we have not, we have not heard any positive response uh, 
uh, from any of the uh, international countries in response to Pakistan's uh, once again an attempt to draw international attention. This is right. not the first time, as I mentioned, uh, Pakistan has been going to U.S. Uh, until 2014-15, but <coughs> since the U.S. realized that it's now better to align with uh, India more than Pakistan, the, now Pakistan has chosen China as a new ally over U.S. So apart from China, there's not been any positive response to Pakistan on these kind of uh, UN cry. Uh, as I mentioned, this is the first time Pakistan is now eyeing the Indian Ocean region. Until now, they have the sem uh, similar uh, uh, theory of raising, uh, draw drawing international attention using the K bogey, the Kashmir issue. Right. But now, at, on beh uh, the behest of China, Pakistan is now. Uh, has changed it, changed the uh, okay. uh, uh, the exact word I would say from K mm -hmm. to, o mm -hmm. to ocean region. Okay. And this is basically only on the uh, because of China's support and reason. The Pakistan is starting All right. a new stand. Well, Ashish, appreciate that those updates, of course, on how uh, Pakistan changing its stance in that argument and slamming uh, India here uh, once again. We leave it at that, but we're continuing with.